welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing first impressions of the new, well it's not really new, I'm just jumping on the bandwagon about the Makeup Revolution Foundation So and concealer. So if you want to see how I liked it, just continue watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button to be notified when I post new videos. So I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to use this Minimalize Photo Finish Minimalize because I have a big pore. So I'm going to take Ooh, see my nose? I don't know if you can see that, but that's the color of it, surprisingly. So I'm just going to bring it a little bit more. I think I need a lot of it because like a little bit. Oh, I like the way this feels on my skin. And this feels good. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. I think that's pretty much primed. Okay. And then next I'm going to use this Bowder Finish Primer Water. And then I'm gonna spray this all over my skin. What the heck? And then I'm gonna let that sit a little bit on my face. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna use this. This is my first time ever using the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And if you're wondering, I'm in the shade F4. So I'm going to put this all over my face. Just a little bit of this all over my face. Sorry, I'm looking to see if I'm doing this right because I have a mirror behind me. And then I'm going to use my Real Techniques at Beauty Sponge to get, put that all into my skin. And this is supposed to be full coverage so I hope it blends into my skin. And I think it's doing a very good job of doing that. So I'm going to might need a little bit more for my forehead but I think it's doing its job I mean if I'm pretty pale right now because it's not summertime so it might have to be a different shade in the summertime but I it doesn't really feel like I have foundation on my face so that's pretty good foundation looks pretty good I'm gonna go in with a little bit more okay. Things over. I think I'm gonna get a little bit more. I didn't even put it on my nose. Oopsie. Cause I do have some break, so I'm gonna put just a little bit more. And I kind of like this big. Looks like a big concealer brush, but I actually really like it. doing its job. So I'm just gonna put this all over again. Just pat it into the skin. But I kind of like how this looks. It doesn't look like I got a foundation. It looks really natural. And yes, looks good. Yeah, but, and it did a pretty good job like covering, you can see I have a breakout there and over here I have one too and I think it did a pretty good job covering my blemishes and breakouts. Oh, I think I like this. This looks good. Gotta make sure I go over the, I always forget to do my eyelids. <coughs> 
I don't know why, but I always forget to do them for some reason. But, I mean, you can see that looks pretty good. With, oh, I got it in my neck. I got a little bit more. I keep going back in and <laughs> using more. I don't feel like I'm putting like enough on my skin. I think this is gonna be my new favorite foundation. Cause I have like oily and acne prone skin. I think I've said that before. But other than that, it looks pretty dang good. I ain't gonna lie. And then I have one on my nose too. But like I don't feel like I look flaky or anything. Cause I hate when you look like cakey or anything. I feel like it doesn't look too bad. Okay. I think I'm done with blending that in. So next I'm gonna go in with concealer and I got two shades of layers, so I got C2 because I'm an F4 and F C4 is basically like the same thing so I figured I'd go two shade lights because C3 wasn't um wasn't wasn't light enough so I'm just gonna go in and put whoops that looks like a a hot mess. <laughs> I'm not pretty good with doing this and I'm gonna make sure I put it over there on my blemish. And then I'm gonna put it going down my nose and going up like that. Then I'm going to take a little just be knocking everything over. But then just patting that under my eye. Like so. Oh, this looks, this is so nice. See, I don't like the, um, the, what do you call it, the shape tape concealer by Tarte. I don't know, I think I got the wrong shade or something, but I don't feel like it blends, right? But this does a good job of, under my eyes, if you can see. I think it's blended, like, pretty good under the eye but I think it looks pretty good I really like this oh make sure I get that don't want the sealer to sit too long but I, I like this it looks really good oh yes it's really good I didn't feel like I had to blend it out too much, and I think it really got underneath the the crease and stuff. So I think it did a pretty good job. And then I'm going to set this before I do my eyes. Oh, wait, no. I got I know what I do. I got to um, use my setting powder. And next I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever setting powder. No, oh, no, you're not. on this but I'm gonna go in with this and I usually just tap it on the back of the lid and then use this side I usually go like this and I'll just set my under eyes but I, it's really setting pretty good with this concealer. Yeah, I like this. Then put some on my nose. And then put some on my chin. The spots where I usually get oily, I probably put some on the forehead. And then I'm going to go in and use this new bronzer, which is also by um, Makeup Love Revolution. It's the Triple Baked Bronzing Shimmer of Love. And 
this is what it looks like. It's kind of cute. Let me swatch it. Yeah, I don't think you can really see it on my skin. So I'm just going to take my bronzing brush, just a regular bronzing brush. And what I usually do is make a duck face or a kissy face. And I usually just work it into skin. And work it like that. Oh, that's really like contour if you can see that. Really did a good job of contouring my face. Oh yeah, I look. Now I look really. <laughs> oh, I think I. I think that's just the. I don't know why that's like sat on my face like that. You can see there's like a white powdery thing sitting on my face. That's a no no. And then I usually just work it like up here. Flake some, don't get put too much, but like flake it up into like the right before your, like basically right before your hairline starts. I think that's what you call it, I think. So I'm just gonna blend that up and around my face. I actually really like this bronzer. It looks really nice. And then after I do bronzer, I'm going to use Benefit. My things are rolling everywhere. The Benefit built in Twinkle. I usually just use the brush that's in here. I'll put the lid back on this. You now I understand why beauty gurus have a big mess when they're done. And I'm just going to like work this up like that. I think I've got some flake ways. And I usually just, I usually don't like to use blush. I mean, I do sometimes, but I really don't feel like using it today. And then I'm just going to, woof, woof. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my camera, but I'm going to do my eyebrows next. And then after I do my eyebrows, I'm going to go, let me get a little closer. I'm gonna go do my eyes, well I'm gonna do my eyes off camera and then I will be back to let you see the, well actually I'm gonna set this and then do my eyes and then set my face again. But I really do like the way that this foundation really like worked with my skin and I really like this bronzer because I usually use the Hula bronzer but I figured I'd change it up since I'm doing Makeup Evolution. I figured I should do um, Makeup Evolution bronzer, so that's what I did. So I will see you guys a little later and I'll show you the finished look. Alright. Alright, so this is the finished product. And this is what my eye look looks like. Hold me back up a little bit. I really like it. I used the, um, I can tell you right now, I used the Morphe palette in 25A. So it's like, it's called Copper Spice. So it has like a bunch of brown kind of tones to it. So I used this color lit for the crease. Then I used the shade underneath of it, which is After Life. I used that one for like the outer corner and under my eyes. And then for the glitter, I used the one underneath that, which is called Foxy. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell thing so you can be notified when I post new videos. Thank you. Bye.